All right, evening, everybody, um, all seven of you. Um, just a quick update on the XR4TI project behind me. Um, as you've probably seen, I put up a couple short videos of just kind of getting it running. Um, it now runs pretty good. I put an ignition tune up on it. It helped a little bit. It still has an off idle miss, but I'm not super worried about that. I'm just going to chalk that up to um, probably dirty fuel injectors or a vacuum leak or something like that. Uh, yeah, we can track all that down later. Um, the important thing is, it's now ready for a test drive, I think. Um, Bailey helped me bleed the brakes tonight. Um, they all bled perfect. Um, had some air in the, the right rear, which explains the no pedal at all. Um, a little bit of air in the fronts, but not too bad. Um, but yeah, starts, runs. I don't know if the cooling fan works. I don't know if the temp gauge works. Um, don't know if the brakes are going to hold. E-brake works. That's, that's important. Um, but it does appear to crank up and run and shift the big ears and move under its own power. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can find out a little more tomorrow. Um, I'm so far, counting the purchase of the car, I'm in it mm, about $1,500. Bucks, um, and that's all come from, you know, side work or mileage, mileage checks from work or, uh, you know, flipping stuff. Um, so, so far so good. Um, like I said, the, the plan for this thing is to turn it into a race car. I'm not going to say a legit race car because that implies that it's going to be legit. Um, and I'm not ready to make that claim yet. Um, but it uh, should be fun. I've always wanted to go endurance racing, and this is a nice cheap platform, it seems like, to, uh, to get started with. Um, after the test drive, if that all goes well, I'll pull it back in the shop um, and then probably start. It, we're kind of going to enter the research phase of the project um, because it does have disc brakes on the front, drums on the rear, but I'm not kidding, the front discs are this big, they're, they're tiny, um, and there's no way they're going to hold up to road racing. Um, it's also going to need some love on the suspension front. And then after that, I might do that and then do, um, you know, some, I don't know, rally cross or autocross or something with it just to get some seat time in the car. Um, and maybe do that over this year, 2023. Um, and then eventually it'll get stripped, the interior will get stripped out, and a cage will get put in it, and hopefully we'll go race in 2024. Oh, um, wow, it's late, I should get to bed. Um, but yeah, so far so good. It's, uh, it's a very easy car to work on. It hasn't fought me really yet, which is a nice change. Um, parts are still cheap. Um, but yeah, kind of, kind of enjoying it. I haven't really had, I've never... The only stuff I've ever worked on has been Volvos, really. Um, so this has been a nice change of pace, and so far it's been uh, kind of what it's cracked up to be. So I'll keep you posted. Um, there's not going to be any sort of real schedule for these. It's just you know when I have time and I'm in the shop, or you know when I have money and can uh, buy a little piece here, buy a little piece there, um, one piece at a time, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, as we continue to work on it and make progress, I'll try and keep you updated. And uh, hopefully we'll get some footage of this thing on course 2024. But yeah, thanks for tuning in.